Before Docker, we always had it works on my machine, it doesn't work on my machine issue. What happened is that a developer could write the application code and install all the dependencies needed for the application to run on his machine during development, and therefore the application worked. Later, the developer could send his application code with a list of all the dependencies needed to the testing team. The tester then installed all the dependencies, but the problem was that he could install more recent version of dependencies than the ones used by the developer during development. Keeping track of the exact version of dependencies can be very tricky. This makes the application to crash on the tester's machine, even if the application code is okay. So, how did Docker come to solve this issue? Docker is a standard platform used to deliver an application in packages called containers. When you write the application code on your machine, you also write a Docker file with commands to perform to create a Docker image. For everything to work out, we first installed Docker and then use the command docker build to build the docker file and create a docker image. A docker image is simply a snapshot of your application and all the resources it will need to run without crashing, such as the application dependencies. The next step is running our docker image using the command docker run. This starts an instance of the docker image called container. A Docker container is a lightweight, standalone, and executable package that has everything needed to run the application. Our application now runs in this container. We can have many instances of the Docker image, and these instances or containers are usually isolated application environments. So far, this is happening on a developer's machine, but we need a way of sharing our code and the required resources to the testing team without messing things up. This is where Docker Hub comes into play. Docker Hub is simply a repository for Docker images. It is similar to GitHub, only that now we are dealing with Docker images. So we can push our local Docker image to Docker Hub and share it with the relevant team. The team can then pull the Docker image from Docker Hub to their machine. They can then start the Docker image by using Docker run command. This starts an instance of Docker image, which is a container with all the resources needed to run the application. Finally, our application can run on the tester's machine without breaking. Virtual machines versus Docker containers. Containers and virtual machines are similar in that they help to isolate resources. They help to run the application in isolated environment. In this section, we are going to see why Docker containers are preferred over virtual machines. Each virtual machine needs to have its own operating system known as guest OS. The hypervisor allows multiple virtual machines to run on a single machine or infrastructure. What makes virtual machines unfavorable is the use of huge hardware resources. Each OS on a virtual machine needs memory and storage allocation for them to be isolated environments. Virtual machines are also slow to boot. Containers, on the other hand, run on the same machine and use the same OS. Each container runs an isolated process or application in user space. They use REST storage and memory. They are faster to start and many containers can be run on the same machine. Docker containers are also favorable in modern software development, where a big application is split into small microservices. The app can be lightweight and then it can make calls to other independent microservices to fetch information or get them to process something. Each of these microservices can run on a Docker container, making the development of application easy. Docker Compose is a tool used to run multiple Docker containers for an application. Like this video if you run something so that others can also see it. 
and subscribe to support my channel.